Now, the King has confirmed he will be attending the Easter service at St George's Chapel in Windsor on Sunday. The monarch will be accompanied by Queen Camilla, but the royal contingent is still expected to be considerably smaller than usual to minimise the King's contact with others. Uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales will not be present at the service following last week's shock announcement that Kate Middleton has cancer. It comes as it is revealed that the princess's video message has led to a five-fold increase in visits to cancer websites and NHS advice pages. Uh, joining us now is Talk TV royal correspondent Rupert Bell. Uh, a number of royal issues to talk about uh, today, Rupert. But first, uh, the very good news that uh, Charles has announced he will join the rest of the family at church in St George's Chapel on Easter Sunday. Uh, I, you know, one doesn't want to overstate it, but I'm assuming these are small steps back towards full health for our sovereign. Um, I would suggest this is, this is a sort of semi-public private occasion. We are used to them gathering at Christmas when they uh, appear and um, the family are all together for, for Christmas and they do something similar at Easter. So I think it's not a total surprise, but it, uh, and we know that he has been going to church, as we've seen the pictures now uh, at Sandringham, uh, uh, while he has been recovering from not only the initial prostate problem, but then subsequently the diagnosis with cancer. So it's it's not a total surprise. As you say, though, it will be a much reduced royal party with the Princess and Prince of, uh, of Wales and their children away in Norfolk. And obviously there will be a smaller contingent of the rest. How large it will be remains to be seen. But the King has been carrying out um, uh, duties in private, and we've seen plenty of photographs of him holding meetings, meeting ambassadors and getting on with the job behind the scenes. But as you say, this is perhaps a, a slight baby step towards uh, doing more public uh, facing uh, duties uh, as he continues his recovery. Yeah, I mean, my understanding of when people are having treatments or suffering from cancer is they do need to protect themselves somewhat from picking up any bugs or anything that might be sort of environmental in the atmosphere uh, while their immune system struggles to cope with whatever treatments they're going through. But the king is a man of faith, isn't he? And a regular church goer, and it is, of course, Easter Sunday. Yes, and he's been holding uh, meetings, uh, uh, sort of multi-faith meetings in within Buckingham Palace just recently. So he is a... Uh, a, a very well, it's head of the church as well, and obviously Easter Sunday is a significant day in the in the church in the church in this country, as it is for all Christians around the world. So for the King, it will be an important moment. He would love to, and wants to be there to mark the Easter Sunday. So I think it's not a surprise, and I'm sure it won't take. You know, going to church from Windsor Castle is not not an easy, not not far to walk. So uh, I think it's a fairly straightforward job to be done as it were but obviously at heart of it he wants to go and celebrate easter sunday in st george's chapel as you say as a man of faith i do think uh, rupert that uh, the king is, is trying to send us a message because it was a couple of days ago uh, he announced he would go to church he also said he would go to royal ascot a uh, day at the races the royals love that the, her majesty used to really love it I stood next to uh, her box once, uh, her royal box at Ascot. Uh, I'll tell you about it another time. But she really does enjoy herself at the races, or she used to, and so does the king. So he's announced the, a number of events through the rest of the year that he hopes to be at. He is trying to send us a message. Look, uh, I am coming back, isn't he? Yes, and um, Royal Ascot, obviously, last year, he actually owned a winner at Royal Ascot, which when it was the, the first sort of full one that he was in charge, people wondering whether he would actually like horse racing or whether he has committed his mother. Well, no one was probably going to match his mother's commitment to uh, horse racing, but he is interested. He knows the importance. It's very much a social occasion. And part of the whole thing of Royal Ascot is the royal procession. And it's part of the, the whole day. And it's what people go for. So he is acutely aware Again, that can be quite well managed as well because he can go into the royal box and, uh, you know, his his father, I believe, his uh, late father quite often used to have a kip at the back of the royal box because he <laughs> not necessarily was the, the biggest royal fan. Uh, he was quite happy to go do the procession, watch a couple of races and then maybe nip to the polo uh, whilst having had a, a quick 10-minute siesta in the back of the royal box. But anyway, uh, so I, I can assure you that will be all part of the interesting one will be what about the uh, 
of the Queen's of the King's birthday parade. The the true thing of the colour yeah, given right, his yeah. other name. Will he will he how what form will that take? Will he be part of that? So again, there's lots of little negotiations to be done. And I'm sure he would dearly love to be doing these as much as possible, um, because that's what he wants to do. He doesn't want to be locked away in the palace, as it were, not being able to get out and being in front of the public, which is very much part and parcel of his role as the king of this country. Now, of course, when it was first announced that uh, the king suffered from an enlarged prostate, that seems a million years ago now, it, uh, it made a lot of men think, well, I should go and check myself and had a very positive outcome in that regard. And what we've learned is ever since Kate has uh, confessed to having a cancer diagnosis, visits to NHS cancer symptoms web pages have averaged uh, one every three seconds. There's been a huge uptick in that. And finally, I think a focus on what seems to me a bit of an epidemic in early onset cancers, especially among young women in the West? Yes, well, I, I'm no med medical man, but it is interesting that this does come out. And obviously with uh, the Princess of Wales at 42 years of age, maybe it reflects something that is going on amongst uh, sort of middle-aged or, or sort, of, uh, uh, sort of young to middle-aged people that there is something going on. I have no idea, but it is important that what her message it has given a chance for people to find out more it just now may needs i suppose from a political point of view to make sure that the nhs can deal with it maybe an uptake in patients or whatever it is that is out there so the princess of wales has done a good thing by highlighting that what her condition is and what her, what the problem is we don't know exactly the form that the cancer has taken but it's definitely something that has to be seen as a positive. If it increases awareness and helps other people uh, be aware of what is going on with their bodies, then she has done a good job by what she did last Friday. Here, here. Uh, yeah. Good to talk to you, Rupert. We didn't quite have time to get to uh, Prince Harry turning up in the uh, court case <laughs> of uh, P. Diddy, uh, but we'll get to that another I'm time. I'm sure we'll get to that uh, one. Sadly,